Hey, today we'll be walking through how to edit documentation and sync content bidirectionally from GitHub. Here's an example project. I'm logged in as an admin and you'll notice a top navigation bar on how to interact with my documentation. I can view and edit my docs directly. I can also edit things like global content. These are things like components, API keys, reusable content, and glossary terms. Here I can access appearance settings overall, things like custom CSS or the layout of specific sections. Let's use theme as an example. Say I want to change the primary color of my docs. I can preview what those changes look like in real time and hit save. If I go back to my docs, you'll notice that I have different types of content on the top part of my docs. I have guides for documentation. I have recipes that act as step-by-step -step tutorials to help your users get started. I have the reference section that documents my API, a change log to notify users of updates, and a discussion board as well. Let's go back to guides and jump into editing to get started. You'll notice again the content types at the top, as well as your sidebar navigation for how your docs look. I can add a new category, or I can add a new page. I can also rearrange the order on the sidebar. Let's make an edit. I can add an edit here, and I'll save. I can also use a forward slash as a shortcut to our content menu with things like reusable content, components that I've created, or blocks that README provides. Let's try the checklist. Step one and step two. I can also edit the settings about the doc directly, whether it's public or hidden, metadata, or go into raw mode and edit the markdown directly. Let's look at the history. One of the neat things about README is that we store our content directly in a Git repo. This means that the history that you see here, let's say the change we just made, will directly mirror the history that you'll see on GitHub. Let's check out what that looks like. I can go into my project settings, my Git connection, and open the repo that I'm connected with. You'll notice here that I already have it open. Great. This is our repository that's syncing directly with README. You'll notice that each version is its own branch that gets synced. Within a branch, we have different folders for each content type. So recipes, reference, and documentation that we just edited. Let's jump into docs. The way that this is structured is each category is its own folder, and we use order.yaml files to specify the order of categories or the order of pages within a category. So if I jump into documentation, you'll notice again that order.yaml file that's going to specify the order of the pages. For any page that doesn't have a child page, you'll see the markdown directly. And for a page that does contain children pages, if I click into the folder, you'll see an index.md file that contains the markdown for that parent. And then you can continue to click in to see each individual child page. Let's go back to our documentation category and click on the file that we edited previously, getting started. You can see our changes that we made from the README side, our step one, step two, and the hi there. You'll also notice front matter at the top of the doc to specify things like whether or not the doc's hidden, the metadata, and title and excerpt. I can also edit this page directly from GitHub. Let's add another piece of content, syncing from GitHub. I'll commit the changes directly, and then I can go back to README and preview the change. Perfect. If I go back into GitHub, I can also see the history here with all the commits that I've authored, as well as what the change was. If I go back, you'll notice that I have changes both from the README side as well as from GitHub.